Well, there is time to do a quick vlog. <laughs> uh, nothing too long. Things are starting to move along. I'm back in the uh, sort of groove of vlogging again. Uh, <laughs> it does take a bit of effort to vlog, so... Uh, I do understand when vloggers don't vlog for a period of time because you intend to vlog, but uh, things kind of fall off and... Uh, <laughs> well, and you end up uh, behind. So uh, it's 18 hours and seven minutes into the day of Tuesday, November 11th, 2014, and that's our time and date stamp. Yeah, always an important thing in our vlogs because uh, it is a log. It's my star date. This is my uh, starship. This is our. <laughs> this is my research desk, and uh, this is my log entry. This is the journal entry for today. Uh, or at least for now, anyways, not necessarily for today, but for, for, for now. Uh, because I am going to be starting to ramp up my days again. So I might be putting in longer hours, and we'll see if this is the only vlog for the day, or, uh, or just, you know, one vlog for the day, you know, for now. So, <laughs> that's going to be the... Uh... Uh, anyways, uh... Got a new uh, editing desk uh, on the debug state on, on on the debug there, uh, the test bench, so to say, not the debug. I'm debugging a system on the test bench. Uh, I'm running. I'm doing editing uh, videos on there, so it's acting as a third uh, bench, a third uh, editing bay. It's actually working better than what I've had before, so it will more likely than not become the primary editing bay and then some of these systems over here will be one of the systems here will be moved from its spot over to the uh, music studios uh, on the mixer on the mixing on the mixing stand uh, I'm still building the mixing stand for the mixers and everything all the audio if you want to call it the audio rack it's a rack of it's a, it's, it's a wooden rack that holds all the equipment including the computers that will run the music studio uh, and it's all connected to the mixers, to the, to the mixer actually. Uh, there's two mixers here, so there are two mixers, but uh, I don't always use the two mixers. I just more often than I just use one. Only when I need to do more complex stuff, I'll use two mixers. So, uh, <laughs> but that's uh, kind of behind, beside the point. Uh, uh, so what was this? Uh, so I'm just catching up on my work. Uh, I'm catching up on my my uh, work for Cyborg Alpha TV, things are starting to go up, the BTS vlogs are starting to go up. That means I'm cleared for today to start working on and finishing up the uh, scripts for the videos that I still have to film for uh, IMO vlog, f and I'm also going to be doing a news broadcast this week as well, to try to get the news back working again. I mean, there's a number of projects that I've got to start uh, working on uh, now that the backlog is starting to clear. There's some more room in the schedule now. I can start bringing other things in, and this is kind of how the network is kind of working out. It's working out pretty well. It's, it's okay. There's still issues that I have to be debugged, so I'm doing that. I'm doing the debug work for uh, Linux. I'm doing well debug work on uh, on Kubuntu, and things are moving along very well. And I'm I'm even doing some extra work on my IPTV here and getting up some something called uh, what I call a recess channel up. And I like to play. I'm a nerd, so I like to play. But my play isn't simply just playing. There, I use my play to learn things that I can use later on uh, down the line. So in other words, uh, yes, it's playing, it's fun, it's whatever. Uh, but at the same time, there are skills you're learning there 
that you can use later on in research or whatever you're going to be doing later on for future projects. So uh, that's kind of how I do my play. So I am, I am creating a uh, recess area on uh, on YouTube. It's already up. I'm not going to give everybody the name because uh, uh, it will eventually come out there. If you if you hang around here enough, you'll know where I am, what channels I'm on, you know, stuff like that. But I don't want to sort of give it. I don't. I don't want to have. Uh, uh, issues pop up on this channel that uh, uh, that, that can pop up if uh, I uh, make it fully public in terms of announcing it so uh, <laughs> uh, that is about it for now I think uh, I the, the new thing about the, the, the editing desk is that it worked very well uh, I was able to take the chip right from here and put it into the into the computer and it uploaded no problem uh, so the transferring files is not an issue anymore. Uh, so is it finally we are moving along. We're chugging along. We're starting to get things back on the schedule again, and let's see what I can do for uh, you know between tonight and tomorrow, and that was sort of let you know where things are with the schedule. Anyways, uh, that's it for now. I uh, will talk to you uh, in a bit. All right, take it easy and goodbye. Well, hello everybody, welcome to another segment of the uh, BTS Vlogs. Uh, <laughs> it's been an, an unusual, uh, not really unusual day, but it's been uh, somewhat productive. Let me give you a time and date, time and date stamp. It is 19 hours and 3 minutes into the day of Wednesday, November 12, 2014. And we're chugging along. And I know this was the title of a previous video, but that's what's happening. We're chugging along. We're starting, even though I'm still within the crash mode, uh, I'm starting to make progress. I'm, you know, uh, I'm able to organize things in, uh, well enough to get work done that uh, rather than having a backlog, I'm starting to clear the backlog. Uh, so this week, I hope to get to some extra filming and some extra uploads. That's the goal. Uh, I'm actually working on one right now in terms of uh, finishing the script for a news broadcast that I tested out two years ago in 2012. Uh, and I'm going to start bringing it back again. So there will be a new feature. Um, it's not going to be on this channel. It's going to be on a news channel. And I will leave the link in the descri description down below. Uh, when that actually starts operating. Uh, and then uh, I'm also working on uh, getting IMO vlogs that we, this week. So in other words, uh, in addition to the BTS vlogs, I, I, I intend to do two more uploads this week. So, uh, you, know, you know, we'll see how things go. That's the intention. The new editing bay is working properly. Uh, it's still on the test bench. It's still being debugged. There's still some issues. But bit by bit, we're working things out. These things are, are being worked out. They're being taken care of. So it's not, uh, you know, Friday was pretty, pretty, pretty bad. Today is pretty good. <laughs> you guys are moving along with things. So, um, anyways, uh, I was going to take you shopping with me earlier, but, um, I'm still haven't worked out all the issues on the editing bay, the issues with the editing bay yet, and I don't want to mix the videos between uh, AVI and the MTS format in terms of its editing. So uh, right now, I'm, uh, all my videos are in the uh, 1080p uh, MTS format for the vlogs, and so to take you uh, with me shopping, I'd have to do it in the AVI format and mixing AVI and MTS, MTS. The uh, Blu-ray format, I don't think they like. They don't go well together. So I want to see how things work out uh, with the new editing situation. We're not there yet. It hasn't actually popped up yet on the on, on the. Well, it will. By the time you're seeing this video, it would have popped up. Uh, so <laughs> uh, we would be in our new editing mode. So uh, we'll see. You know, uh, that's why I didn't take take your food shopping. But the thing is, is that I was my mind wasn't necessarily there either. Uh, I ended up, I didn't realize until I was halfway, walk, halfway there uh, in my walk that uh, 
I was still in my pajamas. I put my uh, my parka over it, um, over what I wear, uh, and I forgot that I was still in my pajamas. So, <laughs> anyways, I went food shopping and I bought my, my, my pajamas. So, uh, that's it for today. It's gonna be really short. So, anyways, take it easy, and I will see you uh, next segment of the BTS Love. Uh, Time-wise, it's going to be tomorrow anyways. Whether it's going to be the middle of the night or later during the day, I don't know. Uh, we'll see what the next segment's going to be. Depends on what's actually going on here. And uh, if there's anything more to say. So, Alright, that's about it for now. And I will see you next segment of the BTS vlog. Alright, take it easy. It is vlogging time. That's right, it's time to vlog. So, let's get started. Let's do our vlog for today. And, uh, <laughs> let me give you a time and date stamp. I'm a little off here today. So, it's 16 hours and 54 minutes into the day of Thursday, November 13th, 2014. Well, at least. Uh, I'm getting the vlogs done on a daily basis. We're still in vlog. Uh, we're, not, we're not even October. We're in November now. We're or November for mustaches, but I've got a full beard and everything. So <laughs> uh, it's mustaches plus, I guess. Oh yeah, things are going along pretty well. Um, the editing desk is starting. The new uh, system for the editing desk is starting to come along pretty well. The debug work is is, uh, is improving things it's, and it works better than what I have previously so uh, this is going to uh, allow me to sort of uh, move things along in terms of the editing. Uh, a lot of the editing problems that I had on the backroom system uh, particularly the MTS files uh, don't seem to be happening here with the uh, with uh, the new system but that remains to be seen because uh, I will be uploading it uh, actually today or tomorrow. Uh, the new file, the new edit uh, on the new it would be the first file done on the editing on the new uh, editing bay. Of course, you're going to be seeing this later, so because it's not um, uh, it's not uh, the vlogs aren't up to date yet. So <laughs> there's going to be a, a bit of a lag between when you first see something new come up and uh, when you actually see uh, this vlog come out so <laughs> um, there's not much to say today uh, it's still early in the day I've done a lot of my sort of uh, initial survey work I'm getting back into the, uh, the development and debug work for Kubuntu uh, a lot of people uh, seem to be uh, dual uh, uh, loading both Kubuntu and Windows on their system. So when a person buys a system and they have Kubuntu on it, they still have Windows on there as well so they can boot from either Windows or Kubuntu. Uh, and I, am, I haven't found the need to actually have Windows on my systems. I, I've been able to do anything that I want to do uh, on Kubuntu. So uh, I've found workarounds for just about everything. So uh, I don't really see a need for Windows. Uh, I have no intention of going back to Windows. Uh, so, <clears throat> that's kind of where we are now. So, uh, the next step for me is to continue on with the debug work. I do have some other uh, things to work on as well. I'm going to be starting to work on the next phase, the next uh, sort of development level on the Cyborg AlphaNet. Uh, that's what I decided, I decided to name my network the Cyborg AlphaNet. Because it's from, from here, from the Cyborg Alpha Net, that I go on onto the internet as Cyborg Alpha. So it's going to be part of the, uh, the if you will, a virtual identity, my virtual existence on the internet is Cyborg Alpha. So this is the, the network that supports Cyborg Alpha. So uh, Cyborg Alpha is getting a background network that's going to support her. So <laughs> um, uh, that's where we are. So I'm going to be working on, 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 on uh, version 2.0 2, 2 now. I finished version one. The first version is done. Uh, it's complete. And now I now okay. need to work on the next version. The next version will uh, involve remote logins 
and creating clusters. That's the next version. So, uh, we well, you know we'll see where we go from here. <laughs> That's gonna be uh, well, something that remains to be seen. What happens for the day? Uh, I have, I, I should be getting to the rest of my uh, uh, the, the shooting schedule. Uh, that's the way things seem, seem to be going, so uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, I'll let you know tomorrow whether or not... Actually, you should know over the weekend if I've get, got to that or not. Uh, because, uh, again, you'll see this, you'll see the results before you actually see this vlog. So, uh, you'll see uh, uploads of new shows on a, regular, on a more regular basis, so... Uh, there'll be more variety to watch on Cyborg Alpha TV. So, anyways, that's it for this segment of the BTS vlog. I don't know whether I'm going to come back or not, but, you know, I never know what's going to happen. You, right now, oh, it's about once a day, so that's not bad. <laughs> Alrighty, I'll see you next segment. It is time once again for another segment of the BTS vlog. Ah, uh, yeah. Things have been going very well. Uh, but let's first, before I forget again, let me get a time and date stamp. It is uh, 18 hours and 25 minutes into the day of Friday, November 14th, 2014. So yeah, <laughs> um, where am I now? Yeah, I was thinking of something else for a minute. <laughs> um, you know, things have been going pretty well. I'm starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel. I'm just doing some laundry behind me. Uh, the New editing bay. I just watched the first video that came off the new editing bay. Uh, it it went up already, and uh, it did a really good job. The new editing bay really improved the quality of what I was able to see up there. So there are still some issues, but it's better than it was before. So uh, this is uh, where we're gonna go. This is the way direction we're gonna go in. It seems to be this camera's working out all right already. Anyways, because. Uh, this new new uh, editing bay is able to handle uh, uh, the MTS files, no 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 real problems. But uh, I do have to be careful on some things. But uh, we'll watch and see how it goes. Because uh, this, this is how debug goes. This is bit by bit. You try to push things forward. Uh, I just joined uh, for uh, Launchpad for Kubuntu. I joined two QA teams. I joined the laptop QA team, and I joined the general QA team. So, uh, looking at the uh, sort of the, the quality, the quality assurance uh, testing that needs to be done, uh, even after uh, a release has been done, you need to sort of go in and see, you know, well, were all the mistakes and bugs that were in previous versions really fixed, or are they still there in the background? Are they there in certain conditions? How does uh, the this general operating system like this, like Ubuntu, how does it work on a variety of different platforms on a variety of different machines? Uh, uh, does it all function equally, or is there uh, bugs on one machine that doesn't exist on another machine, or is it machine specific, or is it, you know, or it's brand specific? So uh, these are things that have to be answered, that have to be sort of looked into, and that sort of my next step into development is making sure. And I think this is where you know you do have to do the. Uh, I mean, it's one thing to put out code, but if you're not sure of how your code actually is going to work and you know from the user's perspective if it's not good in terms of the UI interface or in terms of how the UI how how the user sees it if it not doesn't function properly from the user's perspective then it's not going to go anywhere so you do have to really consider when you're developing code you do have to consider um, the UI or the user's perspective and this is what QA does and I think this is uh, is something that you know I think backing into development from the QA perspective on up or, 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 or upstream down to the uh, to the to the raw code I think that's the way to go because it ends up uh, producing a better quality piece of work because you understand from the QA's perspective what you need to have in the coding perspective so you get both sides of the uh, of the equation so 
Uh, that's where we're going now. So the the, uh, the TVO studio is working well in terms of uh, the the uh, what I can produce. I now have two machines that can do encoding, so I can do, I can, can encode and render on two different machines at the same time, so I can work on two different shows at the same time. And I have a third machine that does only uploading. So while something is uploading, I can be working on other shows. So in other words, I've cleared a lot of the potential bottlenecks, things that could slow things up, uh, and I've got a good format to work in. And now it's a matter of doing that checklist, going through all the various bits and pieces uh, to make sure that the shows come out on time, that the things are shot on schedule, that the editing is done on schedule, uh, that if, they, if, if a show needs special effects, that the special effects are done and integrated, integrated, in, integrated back into the show again. In other words, a lot of the sort of, the, the, we we'll call I guess we call it the uh, post-production stuff now has to go on uh, and be brought into the schedule now so that we can start putting out videos uh, and shows on a regular basis. So this is where we're going to work now. And that's what I'm saying. The light is, we're, we're starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel. We're not exactly there yet. We're not out of season zero and moving into season one, but we're still within season zero. We're still putting things together. Uh, but things look promising. So, <laughs> uh, And I may be even doing some laundry back there, so I might be able to get even the, uh, the normal household stuff done. So... <laughs> uh, I think that's about it for now. Uh, it's Friday. I don't know what I'm going to do on the weekend. Uh, uh, I'll probably, I always do a mix of work and play at the same time. So, Anyways, I think that's about it for now. I will see you in the next segment of the BTS Vlog. Our time is up here anyway. So. <laughs> uh, I'll see you in the next segment of the BTS Vlog. See you then. Alright, take it easy and goodbye. Be prepared to have what you know challenged by Cyborg Alpha TV Network. Oh, hello there. How you doing? <laughs> yeah. It is time for another segment of the BTS Vlogs. I'm finally on schedule with things, uh, more or less. The I have, I'm at the point where uh, I'm going to be doing uh, two more videos today. That should be going up over the weekend. And there's possibly a third going up over the weekend, depending on how, how much editing, editing I can get done. So, let me give you a time and date stamp. It is... 14 hours and 54 minutes into the day of Saturday, November 15th, 2014. Yeah, bit by bit, they <laughs> we're getting there. Uh, um, this is my first full day back at the research desk. Not really full day, but... Uh, when you intend to update sometimes and bring in new equipment, the debug work that requires... that these new systems require sometimes... Uh, pulls you off schedule, and particularly if, you, if you're doing for the video, it pulls you off schedule, schedule for uh, the research, for the studying that you ne normally need to do in order to prepare for um, uh, the video. And so yesterday was the first basically full day back, or a regular, re sort of regular day back, uh, doing the research at the research desk here. Um, today is going to be a second day back, plus I'm going to do the filming, so that uh, should be good. Uh, and hopefully, or uh, say God willing, um, tomorrow I will upload. <laughs> tomorrow, I should, or to, even tomorrow, uh, tonight actually, I should upload the uh, videos to their proper places. And we'll go from there. Uh, <laughs> uh, I think, you know, things have been going well. I'm happy that even though. Uh, I'm not fully out of the woods yet for sleep deprivation. Uh, I'm still feeling fatigue effects uh, from that. Uh, you know, if you, if you, I, I've been doing the sort of the uh, uh, the uh, pushing my limits all year long, so to expect 
this to be uh, over with quickly uh, is kind of uh, uh, not realistic because uh, uh, given the amount of time that I am uh, uh, not sleeping properly, the recovery time is uh, more more like more likely than not reasonable. So, uh, so it is it is reasonable to be within this period once you sit down and think about it in terms of the amount of time you spent not sleeping. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, that's gonna be it for now. It's gonna be a short one today. Uh, I might come back and do something else uh, uh, later in the day. Maybe we'll do a, a second one during the day because it's kind of short. But we'll see what happens. It's, yeah, I said it's, o it's only uh, it's only three o'clock in the afternoon, so we'll go from there. Anyways, we'll see you in the next segment of the BTS vlogs. Take it easy. All right, bye bye. Well, hello everybody. Oh, what a day, what a day, what a day, what a day, what a day. Yeah. It is 23 hours and 18 minutes into the day of Friday, December 5th, 2014. Yeah, uh, I've been doing a heavy amount of studying, uh, getting uh, all all the videos done and all the work up, all the research work that has to go in behind it is uh, unbelievably difficult. I am getting through it. I am maintaining the schedule to a certain degree. There are some issues that still have to be worked out, but uh, uh, I think that uh, that I can get through them. All right. Uh, it's just a matter of giving myself enough time to, to do this, and I think that uh, by uh, January first, I think we will have uh, uh, a good amount of content coming out on a regular basis that uh, will be sort of operating, will now be operating in uh, uh, sort of a network mode, if you will. So we'll be operating as a TV channel. Rather than having one show, there'll be a variety of shows uh, on uh, Cyborg Alpha TV. So, and then of course, also from there, you evolve with the Cyborg Alpha TV network. So, uh, it, things are going well. Uh, I can't really complain about that. Uh, it's just, you know, It's long hours, so and I, you do get tired, and I'm going to put another, this weekend's going to be a little rough because I have two kind of all-nighters to do, and uh, it's going to be a uh, rather rough going for me, so, uh, I know this hasn't been long, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it short here, I'm just, right now, I'm really fatigued. And it's gonna take every, it's gonna take my entire all all the effort that I have to get through the weekend. And when I when I feel like this, when I when I have this level of fatigue, I don't want to eat. That's the, that's the other problem that's have that, that's coming in. I don't want to eat when I'm this fatigued. So um, I do gotta find myself something to eat to to you know put something together uh, and eat. So uh, <laughs> um, I don't know. I'll uh, see you in the next segment of the BTS Vlogs. Alrighty, take it easy. Well, hello everybody! Welcome, welcome to another segment of the BTS Vlogs. Yes, when you take a step forward, there's always a way to block... There's always something to block your way. Uh, things that you didn't anticipate, so... Let me give you the time of date stamp and we'll get on to the uh, same old story. 22 hours and 53 minutes into the day of Monday, November 17th, 2014. I'm still not out of the sleep deprivation woods yet. Uh, yesterday, I ended up, uh, Sunday, I ended up sleeping all day, so there was no uh, segment for the BTS blog yesterday because I was asleep <laughs> almost the entire day. I did go to my, lunch, my, my my parents' house for lunch and met with my brother, my niece, and his wife, and and uh, my nieces. So that was a pretty good thing for a couple of hours. And I came home, and I was still feeling knocked out, so I ended up going back to bed, and didn't get up until uh, two o'clock today, on Monday. So <laughs> uh, I'm still sleeping pretty heavily. Uh, uh, my body's still fairly fatigued. So, yeah, 
But uh, I am on the new, uh, I'm now on the new uh, production schedule. I am producing more videos. And guess what I found out? It now takes, it's going to take seven hours to render an hour long video. So that means I'm going to have to be very careful with my time because in order to produce an hour long video, you know, some of these hour long documentaries, it's going to take a long time to edit and put up. So if I want to be putting up more than one video a week, uh, it's going to be pretty tight. It's going to be, you know, uh, something that uh, takes a significant amount of, air, uh, of effort. So uh, on my part anyway. So because it's seven hours to render, right? To rent, do just to, to, to export the video to, 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 to 1080p. And then from there, it's probably going to take a half hour. takes about three hours. It's going to take another six hours to upload. So, we're looking at uh, a total time, looking at about 13, 14 hours for one video. So, uh, I'm now uh, working on, so I get, I'll have three editing bays to do the editing. And I've only got one pipeline to upload, so that's the way it's going to have to be. It's going to be one, pop, one pipeline to upload. So... Uh, it is going to be a, a fairly tight squeeze uh, for a while. Anyways, I might order a new uh, pipeline, uh, internet pi pipeline, in uh, February, but I'm still not sure about that. I have one that's sort of handling a lot of web stuff, but I got to do a lot of work on this. A lot of work that needs to be done to really get that going again. Uh, a lot, a lot of it just kind of fell off and uh, is kind of right now gathering dust. It's one of those uh, projects that you intended to work on but inevitably end up getting shelved because there's just simply not enough time to get everything done that needs to get done on there and you're not getting enough of the sub-projects that require to working on the, that, that, uh, the web service. You're again not getting enough of the sub-projects done to actually you know, go work on the bench. So <laughs> uh, That's kind of where we are now. Um, it should be another week or so before I get the new piano, which means that this week I've got to do uh, the vlogging at, in the uh, warehouse to show you the, uh, the redesign of uh, the, the cabinet that coming, that's coming in so that it becomes a mixer cabinet. And I'll be doing that this week and sort of getting it done and moved into its place. That way, when the mixer comes, I'll be able to, I'll be ready for the mixer, uh, not the mixer, I mean, when the uh, new piano comes, the new keyboard comes, I'll be able to bring it in here, set it down, set it up, and get it working fairly, uh, fairly uh, uh, quickly. Uh, I do expect that, I don't think, I don't, I don't expect uh, the, uh, the piano to be fully functional before Christmas. I know the way things are. That as soon as you sit down to do some project, something pops up and it just knocks you off schedule. And so there are there are always hidden uh, uh, obstacles that trip you up. That's just quite that's kind of the way it is, and that's kind of way research is. And if you're the type of person who do, doesn't mind these obstacles, then this is the job for you. But if you mind the obstacles, if you want a clear path in life, then this isn't the career for you. So. Anyways, uh, I think that's it for now. And I'll talk to you in the next segment of the BTS vlogs. All right, take it easy. And, uh, yeah. Bye-bye. <laughs>
Democratic Earth. Earth.